Good morning, everyone. Today is April the 1st, so I would first like to say Happy Easter. I know it has been a very long time since I actually uploaded a video, and I would like to apologize. Um, but since it's the first of the month, I figured I would drop a video today. So in today's lesson, we're going to talk about what is required to start your own trucking company. And do I need a CDL? We get a lot of questions where people may contact us and they actually think, hey, I need a CDL to even start a trucking company. So we are going to answer that question for you later on in this video, if you need a CDL or if not. But first, we want to talk about what is actually required to go ahead and get going in trucking. If you're interested in the trucking industry and you want to, you know, maybe own your own fleet or become an owner operator. So the first thing you need to do is establish a business. You do this by formatting an INC or LLC. Either or is fine. Um. Once you have done that, you need to get an EIN number that is attached to that business. We also get a lot of clients and they say, hey, I have an EIN number. Well, if, if it's not attached to your business name, you're going to need to get a brand new EIN number. Because what is the EIN number that you have now? What is it attached to? If it's not attached to a business name that you want to use, or if you come up with a new business name, then you have to do a new EIN number. <coughs> Think about an EIN number like a social security number. So each individual has their own social security number. Um, so each business or business entity that you have should have its own separate EIN number. The next thing you need to do, you need to get your MC and DOT number. Now your MC and DOT number is something you're going to get through the FMCSA. You would do your application to receive those numbers. And whether you're starting a brokerage or trucking company is the same thing. You have to have an MC and DOT number. And when you apply for an authority as a trucking company, there are three components that's going to make that authority application active. So from the time that you apply for your authority, the FMCSA will make your authority active within 21 to 30 days from the date of your application. Now, that is going to be contingent that you have the following components, which is your MC and DOT number, which once you do your application, you will receive that, your BOC3, which is a blanket of coverage, and your insurance, okay? Now, you don't already need to have a tractor to go ahead and apply. What we advise a lot of our clients to do is let's get your application in. That way, within 30 days, we need to work to make sure you have everything. So in that 30-day time period, you'll be ready to get rolling. Um, and within the 30 days, you can go ahead and find a tractor. You know, you want to make sure you have the funds and everything prior to applying because you will need a down payment when you get a tractor. And once you obtain that tractor, then you have to get insurance. Now, in trucking, your insurance actually activates your authority, so that makes it active. In brokering, the surety bond actually activates your authority. So that is basically the difference, okay? So your MC, DOT number, BOC3, and insurance on your tractor. Once you have those, it's a few other things you need to do to get it going, but those items will make your authority active okay now you will have to do your rp which is your international registration plan you will have to do a 2290 and it's a form that you fill out which is basically a heavy highway vehicle use form okay so that is a tax that is imposed on vehicles that operate on public highways that has a gross weight of 55,000 pounds or more okay and then you will need to set up your IFTA account. And IFTA is the International Fuel Tax Agreement. And basically, you can go through your state's Department of Revenue and set up an account. A lot of times, you can set that account up online. So, for example, we're here in the state of Georgia. You would go to the Georgia Department of Revenue to get that set up. 
Next, you want to get set up with a drug consortium, okay? Now, basically what happens is when you hire a driver, they would have to go in for drug testing. And so once they get they go for their drug testing, they're going to be put on a random drug testing program. And that is something that is required for all trucking companies. Okay, so um, you want to get set up with a consortium. That is something very good. We have a consortium company that we do use. Um, and then next is factoring. And so factoring um, is something you would love, you would need to get set up with. Um, it will really benefit your company. And basically how that works, we're going to briefly explain it, is let's say, for example, um, you got your trucking company going, your authority is active, and this is the first load that you just have pulled. Well, when you set up with the factoring company, it allows your company to get that capital back or just it basically creates a cash flow. So most shippers or brokers are going to pay what within 30 days. Now, you do have some brokers that do pay, you know, a quick pay, but they're still going to charge fees. They're going to charge 5% fee plus a com check fee and all of these other fees. However, if you set up with a factoring company, you have one company that's handling your invoices. You have one company that's managing your money and they charge whatever fee they charge. But let's say you set up with a factoring company and let's say this factoring company charges 5%. Well, let's say you haul a load that pays $1,000 and you factor that load to your factoring company. They're going to put $950 in your checking account same day or next day, depending on their terms. And also depending on when you submit that invoice to them. A lot of factoring companies have a cutoff time, let's say 2 o'clock. So as long as you get your invoice in by 2 p.m. or 4 p.m., they're going to put that money in your account same day. So now you deliver the load. And you have $9.50 in your account, you pay them their 5% fee, $50, and you can keep it moving. Or you can get the whole $1,000 and just wait for your 30 day time period. Now, the thing is, if you have several trucks, or even if you're just an owner operator and you're by yourself and you're doing a lot of loads, sometimes you can't wait for 30 days to get paid because your insurance payment is probably going to be due. Your tractor payment is probably going to be due. You have to put fuel in your tractor. So a lot of times you cannot wait that 30 day time period. Now you may ask, how can you get set up with factoring? Well, if you're interested in getting set up with factoring, you can actually uh, visit our website. And I know most of you have already vi uh, visited our website, which is bumblebeedispatch.com. However, if you would like factoring information, you're going to go to bumblebeedispatch.com forward slash factoring. Once you go there, there are two forms. We have two companies that we're partnering with right now. And you can actually fill out the form and someone will give you a call back and explain the program and the benefits. Um, we have one company that we partner with, and they're open 365 days a year, seven days a week. They're never closed. They're also open on Christmas. I will say, when you partner with the companies or when you sign up with one of the companies that we partner with, you're actually going to receive a discount just by knowing Bumblebee. You know, if you call into them, let them know, hey, I watched a Bumblebee um, video and, you know, they got me going. They will give you a discount. But the best way to do it is just go to our website, bumblebeedispatch.com forward slash factoring. Fill out your information. Um, and basically, it's just a phone call. So somebody will give you a call back and they will, you know, answer any questions that you may have. Now, this could be for brokering or a trucking company. So this is not just for trucking. OK. Now, another good factor is. Everything that we talked about above, guys, we do all of this. So if you're looking to get into trucking and you're like, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to you know, get started. Courtney is telling me all of this information, but I just don't know what to do. All you have to do is basically give us a call, send us an email. Um, I know sometimes when you guys call, we may not be available at the moment because we get so many phone calls. However, email is the fastest way, okay? So our email is info at bumblebeedispatch.com, okay? 
So info at Bumblebee Dispatch, send us an email and we will try to respond as soon as possible. If you're looking to get your authority to get in trucking and brokering. So if you're like, hey, I want to get my brokerage started, you may have experience. You may not need to take our training. That is absolutely fine. Okay. And then do I need a CDL to start a trucking company? So I'm going to take a moment here and pause and let you guys ponder if you need a CDL or not, because we're going to display the answer in a moment. Um, this is a question that a lot of people ask. A lot of people actually don't even get into trucking because they have no idea or no clue. So do you need a CDL to get in trucking? And the answer is no. Anyone can start a trucking company. OK, you don't have to have a CDL. You do need a driver with the CDL to drive that truck and operate that truck. But to start a company, no. You may need to know what you're doing. You may need some training. And that's what we're here for. Um, basically, you need everything above and you will need a driver that has a CDL. Now, I will tell you um, when you get the insurance and I actually forgot to put the insurance on here. So please forgive me. Um, you need all of these. And then you also need, and that should have been the main one, but you also need insurance, guys. And remember, insurance on tractor, it activates the authority. So also, let's just say you get your authority and um, you, fo you forget to pay your insurance. Well, if you forget to pay your insurance, then your authority is going to be canceled, okay? You will have to reactivate it. So those insurance payments are very, very important. All righty. So the answer that you guys have been waiting for, no, you do not need a CDL to get started in trucking. However, you need Bumblebee. You do need us. So to get started, guys, visit our website, bumblebeedispatch.com. Um, if you already have a trucking company, if you already have a freight brokerage and you need factoring, go to our website forward slash factoring, we'll get you started. Now, if you're watching this video and you want to get started in transportation, um, you just don't know which route you want to go. You're not sure if you should go brokering or dispatch or start in a trucking company. Guys, we do offer consultations, okay? So basically, if you need any business consultations, um, you can actually book that on our site and we will actually schedule a phone call or in-person visit. So the in-person visit, you'll come to our location. Our address is 37 Pine Grove Road. Okay, that is the address to visit us. Alrighty, now um, if you're thinking about coming in to visit, you still will need to book your consultation on our site and then we could go from there, okay? Um, if you have any questions, guys, please leave a comment below. Please like the video and share it with the community. We try to help others in the communities. If you could share this on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. I don't know if you can share it on Instagram, but if you can share this on Facebook or Twitter, we would greatly appreciate it. Um, if you have any comments, leave your comments below. If you have any comments and we will get back to you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We love our subscribers. Um, happy Easter and we will be making more videos soon. Thank you.